But uh, you'd be surprised there are no triple digits in the 14 day forecast, even though we're going to heat up. So that's good, right? You're yes. happy with I'll that. I'll take it. We'll okay, take good. it. <laughs> I know someone who is an Adrian Bebo. She loves watching us and loves 100s. Not myself, and I bet not a lot of you out there. Take a look. It's here we are right now. Nowhere near 100, not even near 90. We are in the 80s as of this hour. 81 at the San Antonio Airport. Stinson sitting there at 82. Dew points at 76, so that humidity is up there at 85%. And it will be a muggy overnight, but as we head into tomorrow, that humidity should drop a bit as high pressure starts to build in and we move into a more summer-like weather pattern, not the wet one we were stuck in for quite a while. Southeast winds are at 13 miles per hour, so we do have a little bit of breeze as we look at the San Antonio Airport. 80 in Seguin, 81 for you in Gonzales right now. Del Rio still at 90 as of this hour. 77 Rock Springs and Fredericksburg. 82 George West, Pleasanton 81. And Hondo sitting at an even 80 degrees. Factor in the humidity feels like 87 in San Antonio. 94 Eagle Pass, 92 Del Rio. Not bad in Rock Springs at 79. Gonzales 87, New Braunfels 83 warm degrees. Here's that radar. Had some showers and storms earlier today. Some slow movers in the morning. Faster movers in the afternoon, mainly south of San Antonio. Everything is gone, though, now that we've lost that instability provided by the sun. And we're not seeing any flash flood warnings for us right now, which is some good news. We're not going to have any anytime soon, too. Here is the future cast, breaking it down for you hour by hour, starting out right about now. Mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. Heading into the morning, we'll see some more clouds roll in. So here's drive time tomorrow morning as you wake up. Mostly cloudy skies could have a little patchy fog or drizzle in some places. Most of us dry, just humid temperatures in the upper 70s and then heading through the day. You'll see the clouds depart very quickly as that sun breaks out. We'll see some triple digit highs in our southwest counties, not for San Antonio, that will stay in the 90s and that's how it should be for the rest of the 14 day. You'll see that in a bit. And then as we head into Tuesday morning, pretty much the same thing. Carbon copy, mostly cloudy skies in the morning, rather humid. Clouds break up quickly during the late morning hours and lots of sunshine by the afternoon and temperatures maybe a degree or two warmer, but still staying below 100 in San Antonio. Again, triple digits in our southwest counties. Chance for rain definitely out of here with lack of cloud cover as we head into your Tuesday. But we do have Saharan dust coming. Here we go. Here's Tuesday into Wednesday. So Tuesday it'll start moving in. I'm thinking Wednesday and Thursday, probably the worst days. Right now we have a weather impact day on Wednesday. Might have to add one on Thursday. For now, we'll leave it as is. And then by next weekend, most of the dust is out of here and we have the air quality improving. So mostly cloudy tonight. Could have an isolated evening shower, but most of those have departed. 77 that overnight low. Winds at about 5 to 15. We'll wake up at 77 tomorrow. Clearing skies by noon. Plenty of sun by the end of the day and a temperature in the 90s. How about that 14 day forecast? For tomorrow, 94, 95 on Tuesday, so creeping up. Wednesday is that weather impact day with hazy skies, poor air quality. So if you have breathing issues, do your best to stay inside as much as possible in the air conditioning. We'll stay in the upper 90s Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday too. 30% chance of rain on Sunday with a weak system rolling in, but most of us won't see anything. 10% the next Monday, high temperatures in the upper 90s. And for the rest of the seven day forecast, or the 14 day rather, mostly dry, slight chance of rain on Wednesday. And then as we head into the following weekend, we stay in the upper 90s. So we're staying below that 100 degree mark. Vinny, I think a lot of people are happy with that and just some dry weather. We deserve it.